Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with an another video. Uh, as you know the summer has already set in and the temperature is quite high. So we need an effective air conditioner inside our car. So to make the air conditioner effective we should follow some steps so that we can achieve maximum from our car AC and also conserve fuel as much as we can. So what are the steps? The first step will be to, to clean the condenser and as if you have a pressure washer the best step will be to use a pressure washer and apply the water force from a distance and if you don't have a pressure washer the best policy will be to use a garden hose and clean the condenser. As you can see the condenser is easily visible and you should clean it on your own it is very simple. So ensure that the condenser is spotlessly clean because it acts as a heat exchanger and if it is clogged your AC efficiency will be lost. So this is the first step you should follow. Step will be to e clean your cabin filter. Now different cars are having cabin filter in different uh, positions in Altros it is in Altros it is just right over here. It is in a difficult position but there are the cabin filter screws as you can see. So you have to remove those screws and bring out the cabin filter, wash and reinstall it. So these two steps are very important. The next step will be how you should regulate your car AC settings. Let me show you that. Your car is inside a garage and the best practice will be first start the car inside your garage and switch on the air conditioner. So the car will get effectively cool and then go outside. So this will help to keep the car cabin more comfortable and the AC will not struggle to cope up with the outside temperature. Ab jab ghar se nikal rahe ho, pehle is AC ko on kar dijiye garage ke andar. Teen, do se teen minute ab AC ko chalaiye, kafi thandi ho jayega, fir ab bahar nikaliye. Dekhiye, AC ab ka andar kitna comfortable rahega. So, follow this practice also. The next is how you should what are the settings you should follow? Now let me tell you what I practice actually. If you have a uh, auto AC like this, first switch off the auto mode. See I have kept in manual. The auto light is not glowing at this moment. Now I have set the desired temperature at 26 degree because outside temperature is around say 35 to 38. So any degree below 4 to 5 degrees difference from outside give you a cool and comfortable effect. And if you set it at 26 to 24, 26 to 24, these settings will give you very good results, a comfortable inside and your AC will cut in because the AC will be able to reach that particular temperature much quicker if you keep the car at this particular temperature. If you keep it in the coldest possible setting, it will be di very difficult for your car to reach that particular temperature in such a hot climate and it will consume more fuel and your fuel efficiency will reduce drastically. So make ensure that you always keep your AC in manual mode, set it at between 26 to 24 degrees and the fan speed. If you st just starting from your home, keep the fan speed at 2 and if uh, it is uh, early in the morning, 1 to 2 is more than enough and when you are outside, your fan speed sh should maximum its 3 if you are two and if there is more number of passengers maximum you can go to four but i think with three fan settings the rear passengers get effective cooling and point your ac louvers towards the ceiling 
so the ac will air will hit directly on the ceiling and get it to the back so the rear also gets effectively cooled so these are the practice you should follow in a auto ac car and you will get very good results you get a comfortable in cabin and you will conserve fuel also now let me show you what are what settings you will follow in a manual ac also in a manual ac i will suggest you keep the temperature between the coldest between the coldest and least point in between and this is one of the best settings i have seen i used to maintain the same settings in my swift also and your fan settings sh should be same between 1 to 2 and maximum you can go up to 4 if required and this will give you enough cooling and a comfortable cabin not only that in this situation you will be able to conserve lot of fuel because the ac will cut in and cut off at regular intervals and it will conserve a lot of fuel so these settings also you should follow in a manual car so these are the settings you should follow during the summer months to get effective cooling from your car and conserve fuel if you have liked this video please do subscribe my channel for more videos like this because your subscription gives me encouragement to make more videos like this and hope you are able to conserve more fuel and enjoy ac in this summer thank you very much and goodbye